I'm Barbara Swinks, and this is my co-anchor, Cheryl Stone. How are you doing, Cheryl? Oh, I'm just peachy. Uh, that's good to hear. But in other news, we are discussing a major invasion of African bees, otherwise known as killer bees. These bees act as normal European honeybees. However, when they feel threatened, they attack relentlessly and in large numbers. Recently, scientists have discovered those African honeybees to have migrated north to North America. They were last seen in California. That's right, Barbara. And these bees are following the TENS rule that illustrates invasions as a multi-step process. First, one out of 10 new species are introduced to a new environment. One in 10 out of those species escape and become established. And one out of 10 of those established species become invasive. What's that, Janet? Oh my goodness, folks. Two Indiana beekeepers were found dead when Africanized bees escaped quarantine, coincidentally. There were about 5,000 hives that escaped and angry. We report to Linda over in Indiana with the views of the major bee invasion. Thank you, Cheryl. We're here on IPFW's campus in Fort Wayne, Indiana, where students are terrified to leave buildings. Here with me now is brave and courageous student, Brenda Jones. Brenda, can you tell me a little bit about what's happening on campus here? There are bees everywhere. They're flying around, stinging everyone in their path. Everyone's whipping out EpiPens. It's crazy here. Now, Brenda, can you tell me, do you think that the population of students on campus has decreased at all? Yeah, it's decreased by probably like 60%. Everyone's going home. They don't want to be here. It's really bad. You heard it here, folks. B is on a rampage. I thank Brenda so much for her time, and I thank you all for tuning in to WNBC. Thank you.